Hi guys, hope you're all okay today. I have a Poundland haul to share with you. Um, mum life happening in the background. Sometimes this looks cute. Sometimes it's covered in stuff. It's just real life. Uh, the first thing um, to address is probably this. I'm tired. I'm having massive breakouts and Reuben tripped over in the bathroom the other day and scratched me and I'm just letting it all breathe. So yeah, I still have the Father's Day balloons up, but hey, it's real life. I don't pretend ever to be perfect on this channel, but I have some bits that I picked up from Panland and I thought it were, I would share with you what I got. Uh, I did pick up the cutest bag because obviously I only went in for like two things and came out with a bag and they've got a gummy bear bag and I could not help myself. Um, right, I'm just gonna jump right in and pull things out. So the first thing I've got is a splash proof beach bag, summer paradise holiday in bright orange. It's just like a bag to put wet things in. Um, Obviously, I say obviously you might not know, we live in Cornwall, we're very blessed to have a seaside uh, all around us, well three quarters of the coast is covered in seaside, Reuben is very much enjoying, we're getting it quite regularly at the moment, we've done it quite a few times where we go, early evening, late afternoon when the worst of the heat has gone, because obviously both myself and Reuben are very pale people, um, and he very much likes the rock pools and splashing and um you know he loved puddles in the spring with his wellies and now he's very much loving barefoot splashing at the beach um but splashing and things this i just thought would be handy rather than having like a plastic bag um just to put wet things in so i got that uh, i also picked up this which is super cute a little bucket and use some little there's like a spade and some moulds. I picked up some moulds um, back in May. Um, I ordered some Jubilee bunting from a website and they had a free gift and it was like some this type of thing. Um, Ruben enjoys them but he doesn't quite get there for making sand things. But when we were in Poland recently at the park there was a sand pit and they had buckets and spades and he kind of got into it there so maybe he might be a little bit too little for it but bucket and spade there we go something that i'm saying is for ruben but is definitely for me they had matey in poundland matey is very nostalgic bubble bath um i love it obviously the sailor one is the best just saying but they didn't have the sailor one but they did have the mermaid princess so that's what i got i love the smell of it well, I say I love the smell of it. I love the smell of the stuff that I can remember in my head from my childhood. Um, but yeah, we've got some matey fun for bath time. Um, oh, there's some bits in here that wasn't from Poundland. Uh, I got a thousand and one carpet fresh because we are out. Um, I bought loads of it like before Easter. Um, was that at Wilco's? I think it was, I think it was like my local Wilco's literally had like the tins, no, the the lids had been cracked, like it must have been like a pallet or a box of the lids had been cracked, um, so they were all reduced for like 60p or something, so I bought quite a few then, but I have finally run out, but I picked one up at Poundland. Um, and then some sweeties, uh, I got some Kinder Hippos, and... Haribo Golden Bears. Uh, I also picked up um, some pretzels. They were at that afternoon. This was like in my lunch break. And uh, I bought two tins of White Monster. One I drank. One is sat in the fridge for my next office day. Uh, I then went to CEX, which is like a discounted DVD, CD, electrical kind of place. I think they buy stuff off you um, and sell 
sell it on, I guess. Um, when we were in Poland, Ruben watched a movie all the way through for the first time. Um, we were on an aeroplane, so he was a little bit, but it kept his attention and it was after Christmas, which we already had on DVD at home, but it was on Netflix. Um, and he's watched it a few times since. So we think he might be ready for some like cartoons that are longer than the five minutes that the ones that are on CBeebies. So obviously, being a bit selfish, I've rushed out and got my childhood favourites. <laughs> my alter, oh no, I'll do it. Um, yeah, so it's like, so I got Disney's Little Mermaid. I got Walt Disney Pocahontas. These were like pound fifty each. And then my all-time favourite Disney movie. The box is absolutely battered, but it was the only one they had in the store. <sighs> it is my all-time favourite Disney film. Robin Hood with the foxes and the rooster that goes do 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 but yeah so they're like they're up there some of my favorite classic disney's um they didn't have mulan which is another one that i love uh but yeah the the scary thing is they put the year of release on the thing so it's like um pocahontas was 1995 so that's kind of respectable but then it's like little mermaid was 1989 and Robin Hood was 1973, so I am not 1973, this this movie is older than I am. Um, like, I had it on a VHS tape as a child, it's not like I went to the cinema and watched this. Um, but it was my favourite, it's my favourite Disney film. So yeah, I also picked up those, but not from the pound shop, but they're in the bag, so I'm going to show you. But yes, that is my little Poundland haul. Um, we're kind of covered for the next couple of weekends. If it's sunny, we can go to the beach. If it's rainy, we're going to crack on with some Disney. Um, but yeah, that is my haul. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, share. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.